What's up family members and victims, Ace Threat here, and today I got the ultimate cook guide for you today, and as well as the best build in my opinion. So we're going to get over that real quick, I just want to shout out my Twitch, link in the description, and let's get started. So I just want to say this right before I get into the build, I think Cook is the best killer other than Bubba right now in TCM, I'll get into why in the video. But uh, here's a look at what I have on him, we're going to start with his ability. I would go to reduce ability drain by 30%, increase the detection range, and the big one being all family C noise, where you can highlight a victim and it'll be marked for the entire family. Really great to give information to your team about where a survivor location is. I decided to go scout here. You know, there wasn't too much else that was good. I'll show you the skill tree in a minute after I get through. But scout makes cook 15% faster. As you know, cook is very, very slow. But you do take a 10% damage penalty, which his damage is already pretty solid, so wouldn't worry about that. I think the speed is very valuable. Increased blood collection from buckets by 40%. Really good. I think Cook is more... Think of him as more of a support than anything else. So this is just improving his support. You can see I have 50 blood harvesting down here. He's crazy. He gets 42 blood per bucket. You can get Grandpa plus one level within three buckets and then all and then I just use this one unrelenting to increase its endurance and then exterior alarms this is where I really focus the build around exterior alarms they're very critical they're very good I said they were gonna be really bad but nope exterior alarms are really good this is why I really went for this build instead of like an all-out blood gathering build this is because of exterior alarms right here savagery max blood harvesting and then Two points in endurance is all I had left. So the skill tree that I went is this middle path right here. All because of the exterior alarms, like I said. Went up this way if you wanted to copy it. And there is the build. I'm going to show you on screen right now where to put your locks. You want to put it on the back porch, the main door, and then the side door. If the back porch does get lock picked, I will take the the lock away from the main door and put it on the back gate the map is slaughterhouse you want to enter through this door right here and then you want to close it and add a padlock to it do not use the lock option because adding a pad padlock will automatically lock it for you collect some blood go out through the main door and i save my third lock in case they get through anywhere important i have a lock to replace it with if a door has been broken your padlock has been broken you cannot replace it with another padlock a thing to note the map is gas station i spawn in i lock this door right here because it leads to the main road and then i collect some blood feed some feed it to grandpa and then lock the back left gate and the front one because they lead to car battery each side will take three locks to get through so now in the background you'll see some of my cook gameplay on family house which is his best map because of you can stand on the first floor, do your hearing ability, you can check basement, you can check the floor you're on, and you can check upstairs. That's his, this is the best map, house, uh, map because of that ability just covering three floors and all the blood buckets being really close. You can see here I got grandpa up early and I got the back porch locked, which is the most important door to lock on this map. So... There's a tip I want to give you guys, because this is his best map. What about Slaughterhouse and Gas Station? Well, remember the, the clips before I showed you what the worst to lock? You can use your family sense to check what lock, if they have lock picked your way through your locks. So you can stand on the other side of the map, guarding two objectives at once. Use your family sense to check on your locks. See if they're still up. If not, then you might want to run over there and chase who out call out to your team chase them whatever whatever the circumstance may be so that's a really big tip for you guys use your family sense on those big maps on the two doors that you lock i see that the back porch was a lock pick through so i just go and smack them a few times get them out of here i'm gonna go instantly to the front door take the lock off and then back to the gate where I came from to go and replace it after I feed grandpa up to level three because of exterior alarms. Like I said, this whole build is around exterior alarms. Get him up to level three, exterior alarms are activated 
Anytime they open a critical door, I can tell where it is because of exterior alarms. There's a wild Connie right here in the bush. I'm just going to go chase her out. Get a smack on her because of my 15% speed. Bonk. There you go. Go back to the gate. Lock it up. Head back in the house to go and see what damage there is to be done. So now I'm just going to go back inside. Use my hearing ability to see what I can find. After gathering some blood, get, try and get Grandpa up to level 5. And use my hearing ability. Try and get some more reading. Next thing you know, get some more reading. And voila, there is a wild Julie right there. Would you would you believe it? She her goal in life is to make sure Grandpa goes back to level one with her perk that she has, but at the price of her life. Be killer right there. We're gonna go use our hearing ability. See that there's a Connie right here, and chase her around a little bit. Can't catch her. Use my hearing ability again to see if I can catch her. I thought Sissy was Connie. Feed Grandpa up. Try and get those exterior alarms back online. See Connie right here. I don't chase her. I go around and try and cut her off. I get the kill because I can't chase her from behind. I have to go around. Get the kill. Beautiful, beautiful. Now there's two left. Sunny and Anna. I see Anna right there. Sunny is... Where was he? He was not here. Sunny is right there. There he is. He goes and stabs Grandpa too. He's a hit. Grandpa is taking a lot of beating this game. Going back down to level 2. Chase him around. I didn't know at the time, but he bled out. So you just see me trying to cut him off. Listening for him. He was he was dying and I had, I had no idea. So we have to give him another chase. Like I said, I try to cut him off because I can't really chase. I get two hits on him. Barely stays alive. Go back downstairs. Feed Grandpa. Nope. I finish him off, actually. Okay. Finish him off, and we're going to feed Grandpa. Get those exterior alarms right back online. And in this clip right here, you can see exterior alarms being helpful. Finding the last person. They open that door. Exterior alarms coming in clutch. I go down there, and I go and search them. Use my hearing ability to go and find them. And that's it for the video. I, I, I hope you enjoyed Hopefully you learned something in this video. Cook is the best family member in the game. Here are some bonus clips, or a bonus clip of uh, this Ana player moonwalking. They're on PS5. I have no idea how they were moonwalking. You can see I'm about to aura reveal them. So if you did enjoy the video and you did find it helpful, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, leaving a comment if you have any questions. Go follow my Twitch link in the description. I hope you have a wonderful day.